One of the main objectives for this farm is to be able to do an integrated farming. We tried our best to at least minimize the expenses for the food consumption of our pets. So this process is not that difficult because this trunk is just very soft. This is the shader machine that we normally use for the chopping of the grasses and even this banana trunk, but it malfunctioned now. This is an old machine actually. This taro is also one of the best sources of food. This will also help us to make the dikes strong and sturdy. Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. One of the main objectives for this farm is to be able to do an integrated farming. And in doing so, we tried our best to at least minimize the expenses for the food consumption of our pets. These farm animals actually are very easy to raise. They are not very choosy about what they are gonna eat and what we are gonna feed them. In our previous videos, we shared with you about the natural food that we can get elsewhere in the farm. We are mentioning about the kohol, we are mentioning about the azola, this uh, water spinach, and many others. That's why we are actually proud to say that we reduced up to a large extent of our budget for the food. And today's video, allow me to share something also, the best practices that we have achieved for the feeding composition of our farm animals. And I'm referring to the banana trunk. This banana trunk is rich in calcium, vitamin C, potassium, and even molasses. And the practice of giving this banana trunk had been so successful in our experience of reducing the budget for our farm animals, for the food. And this is what we're gonna share with you today. You guys can see here this banana trunk. This is not the rocket launcher of the IDF, but this is the banana trunk that we can use as feeds for our chickens. So we will do the process and we are going to manually cut this one because our machine malfunctioned. So you will watch how we're gonna do this. Of course, this is not anymore an alien activity to you. Many of you can relate what we're doing and please witness, we will do this one. This is the shader machine that we normally use for the chopping of the grasses and even this banana trunk, but it malfunctioned now. This is an old machine actually, and we use this in the old farm, and I still have it repaired, but we cannot stop it, of course. We will do the manual slicing of the banana trunk, and we will give that to our chickens, and that's good for the breakfast. So this process is not that difficult because this trunk is just very soft and the chopping of it will be done fresh meaning that if we will feed this today then we will chop this today because uh, these ducks 
and even chickens will not like if they are already fermented so we're doing this chopping right just like that and we're doing it fresh and then we will mix this with the corn bran and also mix with the the rice and these are the normal you know food that we're giving especially during saturdays and sundays So we will mix this chopped banana trunk. You see, they cannot wait it. Uh, these roosters are eager now to to eat our food. And then we will mix this one. Of course, these are not uh, spoiled food. And then, of course, this rice bran. And here's the secret. From time to time, we are actually giving this dextrose powder mixed with the food. This is the source of energy. This is a good source of vitamins. And it will boost the energy of our ducks, chickens, and even this gooselings. I'm so glad that you have suggested about making a sound through a whistle and I'm actually impressed with the suggestion and this is the reason why I train them with this type of whistle. This is a bird whistle that we can use in order to call their attention uh, before we're gonna give the food and I hope that they will be accustomed to this because I know that if we will do this constantly this will implant into their minds that whenever they hear the whistle, they're gonna be fed. Actually, they were already given the breakfast and I am pretty sure that for today, this is gonna be consumed. Before sunsets, this is going to be consumed and they are not going elsewhere because the food is here and I'm share with you about the importance of having a portion where you can put all the food and this will remind them that if they are hungry then they will just come back and then swim again and this is the activity and you are sure that they will not escape and they will not go far so their safety is also our paramount consideration because if they will go far of course we don't have any more control guys take note that this taro is also one of the best sources of food and we are planting this along the, the dikes this will also help us to make the dikes strong and sturdy so we will plant this along the dikes of the pond so that the soil along the dikes will not erode. So we will do this, we will plant this one and the leaves and the stalk of this is also the best source of food for our farm animals. So guys, we already have planted some of this taro, uh, one, two, three, four, five, and we are actually aiming at enclosing the pond with this plant because this is the best source of food for 
our farm animals. And this is already proven. You can make a research out of this taro. And this is what I aim to sustain the food for our chickens without spending so much money. And this is what is happening right now. In fact, we already have produced hundreds of ducks and even chickens. And in our future videos, I hope to show you the chicks of our native chickens. Um, actually, we have six hens that are already incubating their eggs right now. And this is a good sign because the composition of our feeding allows them to, you know, lay their eggs. They multiply a lot. The ducks, the chickens, the geese, and they are now actually laying their eggs very plenty. And this is also my contribution to our farmers. I would like to awaken the minds of our farmers all over the world that in this life, if we are resourceful enough only, we will not suffer. We will not, you know, experience hunger because God has given us the talent to discover what is available. And this is what I'm sharing with you right now. And if you guys are not subscribed to this channel, may I humbly ask you to please subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell because we are always regularly uploading videos and if you will subscribe of course you will be notified of our future uploads i would like to see you in my next video only here at dexter's world